Hello all you beauty people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell by the title down below we are continuing my declutter series. It is late in the night and I am just on a like cleaning bender. I decided to organize my refrigerator and my pantry and declutter some items in um, the cabinets a few hours ago and I've just kind of just been on this like cleaning kick. I don't know why but I just am. So I decided, I was like, you know what, I need to continue my declutter series. I just filmed right before this one, my decluttering my highlighter drawer. So now obviously you can tell by the title of this video, we're decluttering my blush and bronzer drawer. This is a mess in here. I kid you not, obviously you could tell by the thumbnail, it's a mess. So we need to go through this. I'm going to change the angle here in a second so you guys can kind of see me diving into this drawer. Um, hopefully my camera battery lasts. Got the other one charging, but I had to stop filming the other one for a little bit because that battery died and it had the backup battery charged. What a ninny am I? Um, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and dive into this. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, I do videos of beauty, makeup, a lifestyle, all that jazz. I do monthly giveaways. I have a declutter series going on. So don't forget to go ahead and check out some of those videos. I'll have that playlist link down below for you. Or you can also just go to my main channel and look at my playlist that I've got going on. Because I've got a bunch of different other stuff that's on there for you as well. So if you've been here before, then you know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't forget this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl Senior D, and let's just go ahead and get it. Alright, before I move the angle for you, I forgot to tell you guys, don't forget to go ahead and check down below for any of the giveaways that I've got going on right now. I do have some going on. Um, again, I always link those down below in my video, so I love you guys so, so much. We're so close to 500 subscribers. I've already started an international giveaway. I'm going to end up doing another one once I hit 500. You guys are doing so amazing. I appreciate your guys' honest feedback um, on my videos and commenting. I love talking to you guys in the comments down below. So again, don't forget to leave me your thoughts. I want to know what you guys are thinking. If you tried any of these products out before, if you have, you haven't, what are your thoughts? Anyways, let me go ahead and move you around and let me like move my feet around because my foot was already falling asleep. I do not know why. So let's see if I can change the angle really quickly. Okay, I think we figured it out right now at the moment. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not wearing a bra, so free the boobs. Anyways, okay, I have really weird like acid reflux right now at the moment too. I don't even know what to do with this drawer. This drawer is a mess. And I think we just need to pull everything out again, like we did for the other one, and then just kind of go from there. So just pulling it all out, guys. Just yank it all out. Oh no, oh no. Let's not break anything, Sandra. Let's not break anything. So the back part, and let's just, I don't even know where to go with this. We're just gonna take it all out like what I did with the other drawer. Cause there is a bunch of like dog hair in here, which makes zero sense to me. Zero freaking sense to me whatsoever, but that's why we're cleaning these drawers and trying our best. So. Okay, so we've got that clean. All right, so moving on, the very first one, I think, which was all the way in the back, going to be the blushes so I have this Natasha Denona palette I have yet to even try it I want to do a Natasha Denona like dedicated video so if you guys are interested in that let me know um I do remember when I did get this though this um highlighter shade in here is actually somewhat broken it's almost like it's coming out of the pan um so I'm gonna push that back in I forgot to do that when I had it so Pushing that back in, but yes, this is a beautiful palette. So I'm excited to give this a try. I'm gonna take it out of the unicarton because for some odd reason, I saved the unicartons for no reason whatsoever. And I know that definitely needs to come out. Um, I have this other blush palette that I really need to try. This is by Makeup Revolution. This is the collaboration with Roxy, Roxy Soros here on YouTube. She is a beauty, um, 
I guess, I don't even know. She doesn't do makeup. She has more like fashion videos. She used to do makeup all the time and now it's more like just geared towards fashion. But she has done makeup collaborations with um, Makeup Revolution. She actually has two eyeshadow palettes and then this. So I kind of want to do a dedicated video um, for her. And then also the, she's also from the UK. And then there's also another um, influencer from the UK as well, Soph. So I definitely want to do something with her as well. So I know I'm keeping these because I haven't done anything with them yet. Um, and then I also want to keep this. This is the Alomar Cosmetics um, Blush Trio. I love, love, love this. These colors are just so stunning. They just scream summer. So I definitely love using that in the summertime. I haven't used it that much this time during the summer. So um, it is what it is. Then I've got these two blushes. Now this one I believe is not used yet. This is a backup for one of my favorite blushes I've been using right now. This is in Laura Geller Topic Hues or Tropic Hues. So definitely keeping that for sure. Then I have this blush from Milani. Um, I haven't used it in a really long time, so I don't know if I want to keep that or not. Uh, I don't know. It's really hard to get rid of blushes, even though I know I should, because I just don't use them. I use blush a lot, but like, some of these aren't even opened yet, so that's kind of my own fault at the same time. So how can I get rid of stuff that's not even opened if I haven't even tried it yet? So... Eep. This is really hard. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of anything. Well, maybe this. I don't ever use this. This is in Lip Cheek and Perk. I wanted to try these out really badly when they were when they were popular. They were becoming more popular again, but I just I just didn't like it. I love cream um, blushes and stuff like that, but this one just doesn't do it for me. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and declutter this one um, and put that over there. I think I'm going to get rid of this Milani blush because it's just really dark. It's just not the shade that I'm really into. I love more peachy pink corals. I think this is just too dark. It might be really stunning during like winter time, but I have some blush palettes that have more like matte toned compared to this like really deep berry toned. I don't know. Let me swatch it really quickly and see if it's like, yeah, no. I'm not a really big fan of that glitter that's in there either. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass on this one um, and give it to someone else. Oh God. Where are my makeup wipes at? Because this, I don't know, I want this to stain. So, okay. So, I'm definitely getting rid of, of that one. So, we know we're keeping those. This is a blush Bellini liquid to bake smoothing blush. I got it from Ofra. Um, I think I got it in one of my subscription boxes. And I haven't used it yet. It's really stunning, really pretty. Um, I don't own anything like this. So I definitely think I'm going to go ahead and keep this and get rid of the unicarton. So we know we're keeping those two so far. Um, okay, so I bought this at the dollar store. I was going to try it out and review it since I've never tried any of them. But it looks like it's one of the really old packagings from Flower Beauty. So I think I'm just going to go ahead um, and not open this or use it. Oh, someone really wants me to do a video like on Dollar Tree makeup and this is definitely one of those items But like is that a video you guys really want to see of me trying like all the different different like Dollar Tree makeup that I find Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's not really that great. So you just have to like Find some really good steals and deals, but this blush honestly does not look really that great and I know she's come out or Drew Barrymore has come out with better blushes from Flower Beauty that I really really want to try out um, so I think I'm going to pass this on to my niece because she would probably really love that since it's from the dollar store. So she's going to get that. I keep forgetting I have this blush trio that's in here. Um, this is by Morphe. I believe I got this as like a, I don't remember how I got this, honestly. Did I purchase this myself or did I get this in a subscription box? I'm going to be honest, these, this color scheme is not me. So I'm gonna go, they're gonna go ahead and pass that on for sure and declutter that item. Um, so there is that. Then we have this Wet n Wild Iconic Blush. Um, it's really chalky. I don't know if this formula is that great anymore like it used to be. It's okay, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one as well. So there is that. Um, so just to kind of get this all kind of together and unified. Um, I know I'm keeping those. I know I'm keeping those. Um, this is the Sweetie Pie from Too Faced. Oh, excuse me. If you combine it all together, 
it has more of like a bronzy. There's a little bit of blush in there. I don't really know where this falls in the line of things, but I just, I don't think I've tried this enough to know, have like an opinion on it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep that for now. Um, then I also have this hourglass bl blush. Um, this looks really pretty at the same time, but also seems really, really pale. So I don't even know how this is even a blush. Like, I'm trying to build that up. If I was more fair skinned, I think this would look good on me. But it's supposed to be a light, a light blush. Oh my god, a lightning blush, an ambient lightning blush. So I don't know if this is like supposed to be like a topper or I might just need to do research on that because honestly I don't know. It's hourglass, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, then I have this other blush I recently got. This is from Catrice. I did a whole video dedicated to Catrice makeup just because um, Tati was talking about it. So I decided just to go ahead and take the plunge. But honestly, I'm not that wild by this blush whatsoever. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just pass this on now and declutter that right away. I bought it for a video. It got its use, so we're done with that for now. And then I only have a few more blushes left. This is the Hot Mama by The Bomb. I love this blush. It's actually comparable to um, NARS Orgasm, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and keep this for sure. I think, actually, I just got a new Orgasm. So it is this one right here. So I definitely just got a new Orgasm from one of my subscriptions. So I definitely need to take that out of the packaging and... Um, keep that. So this is what it looks like. I mean, they kind of look comparable. They kind of don't. The more you actually get into them, the more comparable they can be. So, but in general, I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. Keep that. I also have a blush from Becca that I've never used either, which has more of a, um, highlighter effect. So that's what it looks like. It's super pretty. I think that's more of like a topper on top of a blush, but I think that would be stunning almost even as like an eyeshadow let's be honest then I have this Tarte Amazonian clay um small trial or travel size blush there was a gnat in my face so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep that because I don't have I have one thing from Tarte when it comes to their blushes and it's this I've had this for so long but I still love it I still love this because of all the different shades I will never use this bright pink one but I've definitely used all the rest of these for sure so I'm still gonna go ahead and keep that and actually the accessories in the front you can actually use those as actual hair stuff I've never actually done that because the packaging itself is just so stunning um but yeah so I think that's what we're doing we're keeping this stuff let me fix this to make this a little bit more better in here um so I can actually lay everything down um, and then last but not least, I also have this Flower Bomb Blush. I forget what my opinion was on this. I don't know if I was impressed by it, not impressed by it. Uh, we're going to look at it right now really quickly, so we're going to see. Um, oh yeah, that's got some pigment in it. So that is stunning for sure. Um, I don't know why I haven't been using this. I had no idea. Again, when I do my Shop My Stash video, I'm definitely going to make sure I grab some of these items that I've been like, testing throughout these declutter videos to put them into my vanity and keep going all right so i think that's everything for the blush then we've got a bunch of bronzers that are in this drawer or like mixed duos so i'm just going to kind of dump some of this on the floor um we're going to get this bin back in here and then just kind of go from there so i have some new stuff that i haven't even touched yet like this pure four-in-one skin perfecting powder face palette. This has a blush, a bronzer, um, four-in-one bronzer, highlighter, blush, and transluting setting powder. I definitely want to try this out, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this and put this off to the side. Um, there's another one that I haven't tried out yet. This is the Cover FX one. This is super stunning and beautiful too, so I'm going to keep that one and put that off to the side. I know I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. This is my original OG oh, NARS Orgasm and Laguna Bronzer Duo. I kept this for nostalgia reasons, but...
but it's had a lot of love like the packaging itself doesn't even feel matte anymore it feels sticky and gross so that just needs to be thrown into the trash and not given away to anyone um because that's just how it needs to be all right i have the Too faced cocoa contour um i haven't tried this out yet but it smells like heaven i'm hoping this will work for me um that's really weird in the packaging what is that uh, maybe that's just glue i think it's just glue okay really weird but this is what it looks like it looks really stunning so i'm gonna go ahead and keep that possibly use it some here sometime here in the future um i've got two matte bronzers that i know i'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep i love this bronzer this is from milani this is the soft or the silky matte sun kissed in zero two one of my favorites same thing for the city bronzer um in 100 and this is by maybelline these two can be definitely really comparable um, to each other now they're two different shades obviously one's a little bit more darker one's a little bit more lighter so especially when i am tan versus when i'm not tan so i like having options when it comes to my bronzers because you gotta have options um another bronzer that i have in here that I need to figure out how to use because this is the shade, the only shade they had left when I did um, the BoxyCharm add-ons. This is a super dark bronzer, not even in my shade, but I figured out how to use it. Less is more. So if I use a little, especially just as like a peak contour, um, it also does have a little bit of a glow to it. It's actually really beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that because it's Natasha Denona. I'm not getting rid of that. Y'all would be kidding oh i did find another blush so this is the gg gorgeous blush um i really did love this for the longest time it's had its love i think it's just time for me to move on from that same thing with the gg gorgeous like bronzer duo this was a, a collaboration with ipsy that she did um but i just i don't reach for these so these that's gonna go as well again i'm doing very well when it comes to decluttering items um there's another one so this is the um kenya or arthur i don't remember how to even say this anyways i got this from one of the subscription boxes i don't know why i kept it i thought i was gonna really use it and i just never did it does have a lot in here matte set highlighter contour dark highlighter and a bronzer i think i kept it because it was owned by a hispanic brand but i just don't reach for it and it's just packaging's cool but i think someone else will get a better use out of this because i just don't really gravitate towards palettes like this that often and especially since i'm keeping the cocoa one and those other two that are kind of like the similar thing i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one um i have ooh, this bronzer is so good this is by flower beauty this is the heat wave illuminating bronzer love 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 this one keeping that one for sure as well we have a hula bronzer over here this is like one of the trial sizes this one hasn't even been used yet so i'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep this one so that's staying right there as well one of the other new bronzers i recently just got is this one from alamar cosmetics so obviously you guys know i have the blush trio now i also have the bronzer trio this is the hydrating um complexion trio which has i'm woke uh, and then Always Summer and Solitera. So there is that. I'm definitely keeping this one because I haven't even tried it yet. <gasps> oh. I contemplated buying this bronzer for the longest time, but I've used the heck out of this. And I still haven't even hit pan. This is the Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. Oh, and it smells just as amazing as the Too Faced one. It smells so delicious. So I'm keeping that one for sure as well. God, we're going through a lot right here. Ooh, Believe Beauty. Love this. It is a bronzer, blush, and highlighter trio. I love this. Keeping this for sure. $5. Super affordable. Go to your Dollar General. Go get the foundation. It's amazing. This trio is amazing as well. This is in the medium deep because I'm tan, um, but they also have the light one. I actually want to try the light one when coming into like winter time later this year just so i can see how that one would work for me compared to when i'm not tan so yeah all right so i know i'm gonna go ahead and declutter these these are really sad to say i've had these for so long i've hit pan but these are the wet and wild contour palettes the this is the um oh my god the mega glow i have both of them this is dulce de leche and caramel toffee so i definitely need to go ahead and declutter these i haven't touched these in so long 
that yellow powder is just too yellow um that shade right there sometimes works on me and sometimes doesn't but i mean it's just wet and wild it's very affordable they still sell these i think they're like 3.99 4.99 somewhere in that price range so if this is something you want i've always wanted to try give them a go if you don't know uh, if you want to get into more like the contouring and like matte bronzers and you want to get like the best bang for your buck definitely go ahead and try those out but i'm going to go ahead and declutter those because i need to um so this is the tarte park avenue princess this is actually an unused travel size one this is what it looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this but i'm gonna put it into the giveaway pile because i haven't even used it haven't even touched it haven't done anything with it so there's that um, I've got the Butter Bronzer and Original Bronze. Definitely keeping this. this is for like when I'm more on my pale side, when I'm more like not tan, like I keep telling you guys. A new pickup that I actually just got from Ulta today is the Elf Petty Bronze putty bronzer and honey drip so i got this shade i'm hoping this works for me i really want to try this out um so obviously that's going to go ahead and stay we also have the translucent finishing powder and infused peach fig so this is supposed to be a translucent powder i don't know how this is because it comes up really pink but then when you put it on your skin it like disappears so i don't know what the science is behind this I thought this was a blush, but I'm going to keep this and put this into my um, foundation drawer where all my setting powders are, and then we'll get to that drawer at some point in our life whenever we get there. Um, okay, there's only a few items left before my camera cuts me off, but this is the Collab Beauty. I know they're discontinuing some of these items. This is the Contour and Glow Sculpting. I love these so, so much. I threw away the one I had earlier because... Um, or a while ago just because it was heavily used kind of gross this one just has powder all over it but it's not opened I will tell you this top part that really gives you that glow it makes it look like you're sweating it looks beautiful it looks amazing Tati talked about this for the longest time which is why I had to buy it and then I also bought backups so yeah when I saw that they were discontinuing this and this was getting canceled after she talked about it I was like what how and why but I have a backup, so I'm keeping this. I don't think I have one open right now at the moment, but I'm keeping that one for sure. Um, I do have a blush here by Wet n Wild. You guys saw me declutter the other one. I think I got this from the dollar store. This is Rose Champagne. I don't know. Yeah, this is like super chalky. Um, and you can't even like see that shade. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pass that on. So we're just going to go ahead and keep going. Then I have a super shock, um, super shock cheek and highly wasted from ColourPop. I thought I decluttered all of these. Apparently I didn't. This one still is cool to the touch. Um, I'm interested to know what this shade is, but you can't really see it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. There was a time and a place when these were like the coolest things to have and now they're not. But it's also because ColourPop has evolved and is a way better brand than what it was in the beginning. But again, we all had like a drawer full of all those little those little pods. It was a thing. Um, the other thing I have right here is by Item Beauty. This is a bronzer duo. So I know I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I'm actually interested to see if these are comparable because apparently item beauty is also like somewhere in collaboration with like ipsy or whatever it's like exclusive with them and i just accidentally dug into that um so yeah you can kind of see they're a little bit comparable this one's a little bit more cool tone this one's a little bit more on like the warm tone so i don't know i think i've used this before and i was okay with it I think I've used this before and I was okay with it. So it is what it is. But I love the message on the inside. I love you and say it back. So I definitely think I'm going to go ahead and keep that one since I'm decluttering this one. Then I also recently just got this newer um, face highlighting duo in Cookies and Cream. I don't know why that's in this drawer. It's actually should have been in the highlighter drawer. Um, this is the East Sofax collaboration with Makeup Revolution. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in that drawer since I know I'm going to be doing a future video on that stuff. Then we've got two more items. My leg is falling asleep. Jesus Christ. Um, my leg is falling asleep. It really was. All right, a few more items in here. So I just recently got this. This is the Sungasm Catrice Illuminating Bronzer. This is what it looks like. I used this in my recent Catrice video. Again, I'll link that down below for you guys because Tati made me buy it. Ugh, that acid reflex in my stomach. Um, really beautiful bronzer. So definitely going to go ahead and keep that. So we've got two more things right here for us. This one isn't even used. 
It is the Iconic London um, like blush bronzer trio. Iconic London is amazing. I haven't used any of their formulas yet. It's the only reason why I kept it because I do love the Iconic London Dew Drops. Those are amazing. So I kept that there. And then I also have this True Luscious Glow Palette. I don't even remember why I kept this. I knew I liked the packaging and then when you opened it, it was super stunning and beautiful. Um, a lot of bronzers, blush, a little bit of a highlighter. I don't know what that is. I think that's a highlighter as well. Um, as you can see, that's a really stunning. It kind of reminded me of like the Huda Beauty like eyeshadow palette that had like that kind of formula in there. Um, but I've never heard of this brand. I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this and put this into the giveaway pile since I haven't even used it. This giveaway pile up here is ridiculous. Um, if you guys didn't know that I actually buy stuff just to give away at the same time too. Um, sometimes I have the intent to try it out and then I just never get to it. And so when I declutter it and I haven't used it yet, that's where it goes. And that pile is humongous. So hopefully at some point when my channel becomes big enough, obviously I can do way more giveaways than I do now, but hey, you know what? It's a work in progress. And that's why we're all here. And possibly that's why you're watching this video. So that is the end of my declutter for my blush and bronzer drawer. I appreciate you guys watching this video because um, we got to the end of it. So you know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't forget this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me, your girl Sanity, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.